Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Every day, a train passes a train station along a straight line track, and the train moves at a constant speed. Two friends, A and B, want to determine how long the train is. Lacking proper equipment, they devise the following method. They first synchronize their walking. Both A and B walk at the same constant speed, and each step they take is the same length. One day, they line up back to back at the train station. When the front of the train reaches them, they both start walking in opposite directions. Each person stops exactly as the back of the train passes by. If person A takes 30 steps and person B takes 45 steps, how long is the train in terms of steps? I thank Pedro for suggesting this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. Let's visualize this problem. At the very beginning, A and B are back to back just as the front of the train is passing them by. They walk in opposite directions, and after 30 steps, A stops because the back of the train is passing by A. B continues to walk until the back of the train passes B and this happens after a total of 45 steps. The question is, how long is the train? So let's focus on the important components of this problem. We have the very beginning. We then have A moving 30 steps. Notice that at this point, B has also moved 30 steps because they walk at the same pace. Finally, B walks another 15 steps until the back of the train passes B. So to solve this problem, one way we can do this is to focus just on B in the second and third diagrams. Notice that B has walked 15 steps between the second and third diagrams. What's interesting is we know exactly the distance that the train has moved at this point. Why is that? Well, look at the back of the train. It's moved 30 steps from the very start, plus 30 steps to where B was in the second diagram, plus the 15 steps to where B is now. As person B moves 15 steps, the back of the train moves 30 plus 30 plus 15, which is a total of 75 steps. Thus, the train is moving 75 steps for every 15 steps that B is walking, which is 75 over 15, or five times as fast as either A or B is walking. Now with this knowledge, we can then go back to the first and second diagram with person A. Now here, person A has moved a total of 30 steps, and we're gonna consider how far the front of the train has moved. Right now, the front of the train is off the screen, Nevertheless, we can figure out the distance. As A moves 30 steps, we know that the train moves five times as fast. So the front of the train must have moved 30 times five, which is 150 steps. So from the very beginning, we have 150 steps to the front of the train. Now notice it's an extra 30 steps to the back of the train. So we can add these numbers up to get the total length of the train. The train length is 150 plus 30, which equals 180 steps. And without doing much algebra, we figured out the answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, 
email me a puzzle, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.